fans, welcome back to Shaw Television. This is Vancouver Island Pro Wrestling, bringing you the hottest action in that ring every single week. I am General Manager Jim Summers, my cohort as always, Dirty Dave. Dave, what do we got lined up for our fans at home? This week we've got Nolan James versus a mystery opponent. Absolutely, I hand-selected Nolan's opponent myself, and you're gonna wanna stay tuned and find out what I have in store for our champion, Nolan James. Nolan James, tonight, you defend your VIPW Heavyweight Championship against a mystery opponent that Jim Summers has handpicked. And, you know, you're gonna be dying to know who it is. Dying to know who it is? I honestly don't care who it is. I've beaten everyone on this island. Plenty of times. Are you worried about who it is? I, I should, I, I don't think I am worried. I've always got my brothers behind my back, and tonight, no one can take this belt from me. Here he is, Nolan. The say word kid, this is one of the hottest, brightest stars in VIPW right now. Champion, he climbed that ladder, he became the champion. He has successfully defended this title multiple, multiple times. I don't think whoever they bring out to face this guy could possibly do it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is General Manager Jim Summers. As you know, the uprising has been running roughshod all over VIPW for months now, and at the helm of their ship has been current heavyweight champion Nolan James. Well, tonight, he has a special challenge ahead of him, as I have hand-selected an opponent whom he knows very well. In fact, Nolan took this man out just a couple months ago right here in Nanaimo. Well, Nolan, I think you're gonna have your hands full with this one. See you soon. Oh my God! Crofton! Crofton! We haven't seen Crofton in months. Where has he been? It's been a year. Look at him. Crofton is back in VIPW. But stabbing Crofton in the back. Nolan James shows his true colors here tonight in Nanaimo. Some bad luck to be settled here tonight in Nanaimo. The title is on the line. Wow. I don't know if I've ever been as excited for a match I put together, Dave. I think these fans are some of the luckiest fans because this is one of the greatest comebacks I've ever seen in VIPW. Holy cow. Crofton. I thought he was just done. I never thought we'd see him in the ring again. We didn't know if Crofton would be back, but he is large, live, and in living color. Seven feet of Crofton just stepped into that ring. And Nolan James is going to have his hands real full if he wants to keep that goal. Oh! Matthew Gordy the cutter. What the, and how he oh. goes for a dive and eats a cutter. That's oh. how you get the uprising out of it oh. from the get-go. The uprising, what is going on? Well, Nolan James might not have his friends to watch his back here. Nolan's looking kind of serious now. Holy cow. I think the, the reality of this situation is setting in on our heavyweight champion, Nolan James. VIPW Heavyweight Championship is on the line here tonight in the VIPW Arena in Nanaimo. Oh, oh my goodness! What, what, what just happened? Holy cow. Crofton just took out the uprising on the outside. You blink, you might miss the action here on Shaw TV, folks. And Crofton oh. with a big boot. 
Crofton is officially back. Look Not at this. many men in the world would have been able to get their boot up that high, but the, the seven foot tall Crofton. Good job, Havico. Good job. Oh, oh, come on. Tim must have slipped. I think there was glitter on the ring and he slipped, I swear. That's all there was, Jim. Don't get mad. Just and glitter. Timothy Jason is asserting his power here. He is ejecting the uprising from ringside. I no, love to no. see that. No, 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 no. no the uprising no, no, are no. furious about it, but that's, senior referee's that's, word that's ridiculous. is law in that VIPW ring. I think that powder has gone to his head. I don't think he knows what he's doing. You know, I don't, I don't overrule our officials very often. I put great faith in them. I know that they, they have it in them to make the right call. And I have great faith that Crofty is going to make a real oh. impact once again here on the roster in VIPW. Wow. Goes for a clothesline. Nolan Ducks double under. Oh, no. Oh. It just brings him up and over. Come on. That's right, Nolan. Nolan almost had it. Nolan is vicious. Nolan has come a long way from the Island Crusaders. He is a champion. Look at this. He is giving a clinic on some awesome wrestling moves Nolan right here. Is indeed vicious. Maybe a year ago, I would have thought no contest Crofton would have won, but Nolan has come such a far away that I don't think this is going to be a steady match. I, I I agree with you, Dave. Like Nolan has come an extremely long way in his time here on the island in professional wrestling. Yeah. This is a man who has climbed that rung ladder by ladder to get yeah. to the top of the business here in Vancouver Island. He is the heavyweight champion. That's right. But these two were friends, Dave. They were. And he stabbed Crofton in the back. I don't think Crofton's going to let that slide easily. No. Nope. And I wouldn't count him out of this contest yet. No. Nope. Oh, oh, steel ring post to the skull of Crofton. And those who pay close attention to our social media account, follow VIPW on Facebook, you may remember that Crofton originally suffered a concussion mm -hmm. at the hands of Nolan James that That's rattled right. him so bad that he hasn't been here competing for seven weeks now. Seven months. Correct. Thank you. No problem. I'm worked up, Dave. I know you are. I've never seen you this worked up before. Oh, come on. Crofton's out. I don't know. I don't think Crofton knows where he is right now. Absolutely, Crofton trying to get his head back in this matchup, but he just got his head smashed into the ring post once again. And oh goodness, Nolan. these fans just burst into an uproar the second Crofton's music hit. They were so excited to see him back here in VIPW. This is not what any of us thought was going to transpire, though. Yeah. Oh, still working on that head. Nolan's once again back in control of the matchup. Oh, oh, Crofton oh, 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 rolls to oh, oh, and just turning the boot on the, the nose of Crofton. Crofton right now is probably wishing he didn't come back. It might be too soon. This might be ring rest, right? Well, that's very true. Some time away from the ring, seven months is a long time. Yeah. You know, it's he's he's been in there for so many years now competing in the ring, but to spend that amount of time away from the ring, anybody who's ever done anything like play a guitar knows what it's like when you put that instrument down for months at a time. It's not the same when you pick it back up. No. The leg drop from Nolan, he looks to the sky. He thought he already had this sealed here. Yeah. But his former partner, the other half of the former Island Crusaders, Crofton is back. And for those that remember, Nolan had started to refer to himself in Crofton's time gone as the Island Crusader. That's right. And I have to wonder how that sat with Crofton sitting at home on his couch watching VIPW on Shaw. I bet Crofton's been just riled up watching all this transpire. VIT, the landscape in VIPW has changed so much. 
and has it left Crofton behind because of it? Or can he actually come back and do this? I don't know. Absolutely, it's very true. The landscape in VIPW constantly changing, constantly in flux as great new talent comes into the Pacific Northwest. Yep. We're bringing talent from all over the world. We get the best wrestlers, we put them in the ring. And this is what it's all about. The heavyweight championship is on the line. Yep. And these fans, they want to see Crofton get himself back into this matchup. They're fired up. They're behind the big man here tonight in Nanaimo. Yep. And Nolan James saying, you should have stayed at home. Crofton doesn't want to be at home. He doesn't want to spend any more time laid out at home recovering, thinking of what could have been. But he's going to need to pull himself back into this if he's going to write a new history here in VIPW. It's one of those things with wrestling where you usually have a tag team and they eventually split up and one becomes the more dominant wrestler and the other one just kind of fades away. And maybe that's maybe that's what Crofty needs to do here. He just needs to fade away. Nolan obviously well, is the Crofton champion. Has no Indication given there that he's about to fade away, getting it with a oh my goodness! Big boot. I was about to say a small package roll up, but no. Nolan did lay it out with that boot. But the big man's still in this one here. Yeah, he's got a little juice left, I guess. Well, there's definitely something left deep down in the cellar. He's digging deep, he's finding what he can to stay in this matchup, but. Oh. Oof. Oh my oh. goodness. What a float over neck breaker. Two count there. It looked like Nolan was about to retain his championship right there, the velocity with which he snapped him over with that neck breaker. Nolan's starting to get frustrated, you know? I think Nolan normally, this would be where he'd be getting the one, two, three, but Crofton just has a little extra something, I guess. He's making it very difficult. And just listen to him, just giving it to Crofton in the corner there. Oh. Well, maybe Nolan should think a little bit more about getting the job done and a little less about talking smack. Because he just got the taste smacked out of his mouth. But once again, though, cutting the big man down, keeping him in that corner, laying the boots to him. Oh, the big man ducks underneath. Nolan oh, up and over oh, to the outside. Oh, oh no, oh. but he just pulled the leg down and just dropped Crofton on that center rope. Smart move. Smart move. Oh, Crofton looks like maybe oh. Oh. he's going to say perhaps even his, his knee may be compromised there the way that it was yanked. Oh. Could have gone right out of socket. Oh. Could it be the cradle shot? No. The cutter? No. Oh, what? Oh, and just takes him over the clothesline. That knocked him out. Look at Crofton. I just, there's no juice left in him, man. He's done. He is done. Nolan's going to get it. does look it. like he might be on about 5% charge right now, but these fans are trying to inject some electricity back into his soul, Good trying time. to get him fired up, trying to get him back in this matchup. Oh. oh, he went for that step oh, up leg oh, drop he's oh. known for, but no. Oh. Crofton knows the playbook when it comes to Nolan James. And you saw the way he rolled over as Nolan true. step up to avoid the leg drop. That's true. And oh, the oh. cutter! The cutter out of nowhere! Oh! But can he cover him? He doesn't have it. He doesn't have we the We could have a left. new champion right here. He's not doing it, though. He just doesn't have it in him. I'm shocked by this. I thought that was it. There's no way. There might be a double count out. 
Absolutely, it could be, it could be a no contest, but we all know the champion. Here we go, the champion got caught with this cutter here. Oh. First he went for the cradle shot, oh. and then boom. Oh. Croft and can't believe that he hasn't put Nolan away here. We thought we were gonna have a new heavyweight champion when he nailed that cutter out of nowhere. No. Now Croft, it's rocking and rolling here tonight, oh. Nanaimo. Oh, oh, big reverse atomic drop it all oh. around. Now Slariot just turning Nolan James inside out with that roundhouse Lariat. What does Crofton have to do to know. earn the heavyweight championship here tonight in Nanaimo? I don't know. Mm -mm. Be careful, Nolan. Oh. Oh. Crofton went for the cover, oh. reverses it. Oh, my goodness. Oh. He got it up in time. Nolan James reversed that cutter into a slam of his own, went for the count, but still not enough Whoa. to put the big man down. Whoa. And a roll up oh. by Crofton once again to. Holy cow. Oh. Oh, oh, and a cutter for Nolan James. Holy cow. This is it. I oh. thought that had to be it. I thought that had no way. to be the end. That, that, yeah. That had to have been, what the heck? What does Nolan have to do? Come on, Nolan. Nolan James is getting fired up, but maybe a little too fired up. Misses his mark there. And Croft oh. with the cradle shock. Oh. These two close. men have both used each other's finishers. Yeah. And still this match continues. This is incredible, Dave. They've used their own finisher. They've used each other's finishers. This is a crazy match. Just absolutely crazy. This is crazy. two men that used to be best friends, Dave. Yeah. And they are just giving us all they oh. have in the center of that ring right now. Oh. And I got to say, once we got the uprising out of here, it's been a great contest between these two. Yeah. Trading huge roundhouse rights in the center of the ring. A forearm from Nolan James. Oh, a headbutt. Headbutt oh. from Crofton. Where's Crofton going? I'm not sure where Crofton's going. We could see. Holy cow. You know Crofton likes to pay tribute to one of the late great wrestling greats of all time. That's the right. Macho Man, Randy the Savage. Man. Look at this. Holy cow. The picture perfect elbow drop oh. from the top rope. We've been missing it. What? Nolan's manages to roll out there. Wait a second, wait a what? second. What the heck? I don't think Tim saw. His, his, his foot is on. Tim, Tim, get some glasses. Foot, I gotta go down there, Dave. I, mean, I gotta, get I gotta in go there, down there. Tim, get in there. Holy cow. This is, no. Take that belt away from him. That's not, no. No, Crofton, you're not the champion. Crofton, get in there, Jim, hurry it up. Jim, get in there. Nolan, your foot was on the rope. Nolan, you're the champ, don't worry. Cut the music. I'm sorry, Crofton, I can't, I can't allow the match to end like this. You did, have, you did have Nolan covered, but Nolan's foot was on the ropes. I'm sorry, Tim, I don't know your position. You weren't able to see it. Here we His go, look at this. I'm sorry. He covers them for the one, two, three, sorry, but the that foot is like on that, that rope. That means it doesn't Tim, count. You want to restart the match. 
Ring. Restart it, Tim. Ring the bell, Tim. There we go. Good old Nolan James with that. I won't say it because here comes Jim back, but look at this. This is going to be a quick match. Oh my there goodness, you it's go. Over. That's right. You blinked and it was done. I, I was walking back to the table. I yeah. didn't even see what happened. Yeah, he just beat him. He didn't do anything. He just beat him. He just beat him real quick. Like a true champion. There we go. Nolan James, the say word kid, comes up on top again. And here we go, Uprising. Teach oh, him a come lesson. Come on, come on, get them out of there. Teach him a lesson. This the man is... was injured for seven months. He had a concussion. Look at the power. Oh, goodness, the power slam by Flex. Come on, somebody's got to put a stop to this. Gun show, man. Oh, God, now they got a chair in there. This is there disgusting. We go. See you later, Crofton. See you in another seven months. Oh, oh come on! There we go, Happy Go. Gun show, Matthew. An impaler on a chair to a previously injured Crofton. It's done is done, Crofton. It's done is done. Oh, come on. Nolan James has in his hands right now the very implement that led to Crofton being Ooh. on the shelf for seven months. Kendo stick, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. It was bad the first time, Dave. This is yeah. gonna be terrible if he does it a second time. He's gonna split his head open. What? Oh, what? it's BJ, BJ Laredo's Laredo. there. BJ Laredo. Jim is running up there to take care of this crazy situation. Look at this melee in the ring. There's belts and cups. And BJ talking to Crofton. Is BJ cashing in his cup right now to possibly fight Nolan right now? I think that's what's happening. I think Crofton's giving him the okay to do it. Go for it, buddy. It looks like it is. It looks like BJ Laredo. BJ, you've already fought a match tonight. You must be tired. I don't think this is a good plan. This is ridiculous. Another championship map. We just, oh, there you go, BJ. You don't even know what hit you, but it was Nolan James, the Sayward Kid, defending his championship at all costs. What BJ are you doing? Laredo is cashed in He's the Island Rumble it Trophy. It's, it's up to him. He gets a match at any time of his choosing. We've got a new main event. This is crazy. This is a crazy. Oh, there's there that step up leg drop he was looking for earlier. Yep. BJ, he shouldn't have done this. BJ's already had a match. He's tired. What does he even possibly think he can do? Holy cow. Nolan showing some strength, getting the big man up. Yikes. Oh my goodness, oh. he's taking him down with a Larry oh. at the big elbow. Holy cow. Oh, oh. and a huge oh. suplex by Laredo. Holy cow, uh oh. Well, his straps Drops are coming, coming down. down. Uh -oh. He's fired up, uh -oh. the big man's on fire. Uh oh. Package Holy pile driver, oh, oh mama. No way. Three, no we got way. a new champion. What? We got a new heavyweight what? champion. What? You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. BJ Laredo? BJ Laredo. Laredo stands tall once again on top of the professional wrestling scene here on Vancouver Island. The new VIPW heavyweight champion. Holy cow. That's great. 
Well, let's see some, some replays here from this matchup. Crofton catching both members of the uprising with a cutter. Then the, the referee was knocked into the ropes. Crofton was repeatedly sent into the steel posts on the outside, turned inside out with that neck breaker there by Nolan James. Nailed the cutter. I thought the match was over here, but Nolan James, boom, big slam of his own, reversal out of another cutter. A cutter of his own. These two both used each other's maneuvers. The cradle shock by Crofton to Nolan James. The own DiMaggio man from the top row. Oh. And right there, I thought it was over. The referee thought it was over. Yeah. But we saw Nolan's foot clearly on the bottom row. I had no choice but to restart this match. Nolan with the cradle shock of his own. And by the time the bell was rung to begin the contest, it was ringing again to end it. Nolan retained the title, and then the uprising, just laying waste to Crofton, the impaler on the steel chair, but Laredo would cash in the Island Rumble trophy. And here the big package pile driver, and the big man becomes the new heavyweight champion here tonight in Nanaimo. Fans, thank you so much once again for tuning into Shaw Television and checking out what the island is watching. Me and Dirty Dave, we'll see you next time.